this is John Mayer. Sure. What were some of the strategies or mm. some of the techniques you used to get yourself out of homelessness? Right. Okay. So basically, like, I always was thinking I was going to stay there. Like, that because I moved there to really stay there and work that job and kind of build my way up in the education and nonprofit um, arena. Mm-hmm. So I, I was hired there to be a program coordinator, which is a, and I was a AmeriCorps member, which does a lot of civic work, community work, and helping out the community. So that was kind of my job at, at um, the organization was called Playworks. But basically, I was working there, so I made my two thousand dollars there, right? So how I figured out, I was like, man, I gotta take a shower. Right? I gotta take a shower. I figured out a way to brush my teeth and stuff like that. So I went to the YMCA. So, and that's what I was working at before in Atlanta, Georgia, before I'm about there. Mm-hmm. So, um, the YMCA, their membership was like $30, $35 a month. So I was like, okay, cool. I can pay that $35. So now at least I can be able to take a shower, brush my teeth and get freshened up for work. Mm-hmm. So I can be presentable. You know, I'm not going to be smelly or anything right. like that, right? And I don't have to spend X amount of dollars on motels um, to stay there as a shower because the motels cost about, Eighty-seven dollars a night for a motel, and like a rinky dink motel. Right? Right. <laughs> Nothing fancy. So right. I was like, and I have to drive over the bridge. It's like seven dollars every time you cross the bridge. Oh my god! To from San Francisco to Oakland. So I was like, I was doing that at first. I was like, now nah, I got to figure out a way to save money because I'm not gonna have money at the end. So um, so yeah, so I went um, paid for the YMCA for thirty five dollars or thirty dollars a month, and then I applied for the hardship hardship um, assistance from the government. So, or from the nonprofit, and they, I, I accepted. So then, my thirty dollars went to fifteen dollars a month. So that helped me out. And then I was always at the YMCA, and then there was these kids that had like a little sports thing. Um, they always went there to play basketball, or t-ball, or baseball, etc. And one day, the YMCA worker always seen me there, and I was always just good, around, good with the kids. And and she said, "Hey, do you have you ever coached before?" Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, I, don't, I play sports, but I never actually coached. But um, but I'm always around kids. Like I work at a school, da da da. da. And she said, well, um, would you be willing to apply or do like an interview with us to do to be an on call like coach mm-hmm. for for the for the basketball program and t ball baseball program? I was like, yeah, for sure, of course. Mm-hmm. So what ended up happening was. They did like a mock interview where I came in and I actually coached them for like one practice one day and they watched me to see how I did and I killed it. I nailed it. I did great. Mm -hmm. And then they gave me the job for an on-call position. Now, uh, what that did, that waived my $15 fee. So now I can use one shit for free because I'm an employee now. Right. So not only that, so it's like they they took away that fee and then whenever they need either the coach or whatever position, they'll they'll call me whenever they need me. So. It was just figuring, it's just things like that. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, well, whatever I could do to decrease my expenses and increase my income would be great. And just stay focused, just, just being positive. Mm-hmm. You know, I have this whole that's life mentality. Um, that's life is an acronym that means do anything to say life is for everything. So mm-hmm. instead of being mad or sad or having a negative attitude, you simply say that's life is positive and move forward in a positive direction because there's no point to dwell in the negativity or you know, in the past, because the world's going to spend with or without you. So with that whole philosophy, you know, I just kept saying that, like, man, that's life just happening for a reason. Um, you know, I'm going to overcome. I guess I just got to be resilient and um, don't complain about anything because it'd be so much worse. Because the thing about it is, you know, even though, I, even though I was homeless, I was sleeping in my car. At least I had a car. And at least I had a job to where I could put gas in that car. And I had a key to the mm-hmm. car. You know, like, I could pay for certain things that I was getting. So, um I was always grateful when I was in